my name is Heather Klar. I have my own fashion line called Heather Klar, and I am a fashion designer, a personal wardrobe stylist, as well as a personal shopper here in Brooklyn, New York. Mathematics and fashion designing. Obviously, for fashion design, you don't have to have an excellent grasp of calculus. However, there is a lot of math when it comes to fashion design. In general, being able to do really basic math very quickly and very well will save you tons of time in the future. If you're at a fabric store and you need to measure the length of a yard or the width of the fabric or do some quick calculations in your head knowing how much of, let's say, some trim you have at home and how much you're going to need, uh, things like that become very important and really add to the amount of time you can save. Uh, also, understanding fractions and how proportionally when you start altering patterns and things like that, understanding how fit needs to be and taking things in. Uh, another part of math that's in fashion is called spatial relations. Uh, it's fascinating stuff and it's the idea of how different shapes work together to create new shapes and so with that it's like pattern drafting and so you have two circles you start sewing them together and it's not that they make two circles you fill them up and they make like a dome you know you take it in and look at a round pillow or something like that. Uh, so practicing things that involve spatial relations is probably a good trick for you. You can go online and find some stuff. Usually there are those like cardboard pattern boxes with letters on one side and then a fully formed thing on the other with numbers saying what side is what. So just practice with that and you'll be great. Yeah.